I mean, it, it's it's been an instant replay here the last game. We scored our two runs. I mean, that's that's about what we can do, you know. So, you know, well, let's start with, uh, you know, Sellis could be a hell of a pitcher if we could ever get him to get the ball over the plate. You know, I mean, he never got hit this year, but it's just a, I mean, you see the stats. He's got 28 walks in 17 innings coming into the game, and he just doesn't give himself a chance to, uh, you know, to be competitive. And once again today, after putting three zeros on the board in the fourth, you know, the, the, the base hit didn't hurt him, but then it was the two walks that loaded the bases and all three of them scored. So instead of down one nothing, we're down three. You know, Villasmil, as always, uh, you know, I thought he pitched, you know, he pitched very well. You know, I mean, I don't know, that did he give up an earned run or yeah, he gave up one earned run? You know, so he did a good job. And uh, so it comes back to our, um, you know, we, we, you know, defensively, after a shaky start, this team played real good defense. Uh, Reyes went six weeks without a single error. But now in the last 10 or 12 days with uh, the skeleton crew that we've got playing and people out of position, our error total just got out of control. But that's, that's what's going to happen when you got a catcher playing second base and uh, Pedro Perez, who is a first baseman or a left fielder, but definitely not a third baseman, he's going to make errors because he's that's not that's not his position, you know. And um, you know, so as always, it's a struggle on offense, and we punched out nine more times again today, um, and we've averaged ten plus over the. So it is what it is, you know, but um, you know the guys picked up some experience and. Uh, you know, some of them, the guys that hit under 200, um, as I've told a lot of them, they, 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 they had better get their act together and really work during the winter time because most of the clubs I've been with, if you, if you don't hit 200, it's a tough time even being asked back the next year. You know, I mean, this is, the, this is rookie ball. So people, the Mets didn't put anybody here to not be able to compete, and yet we had... We had quite a few guys that did not hit 200, which is really tough to do. So they've got their work cut out for them. But obviously, uh, as I said on a pregame show today with Stu, the highlight of the team from day one right through to the very end was the pitching, both starting and out of the bullpen. It was terrific. You know, but uh, we, we were not we were not pretty at any time during the year offensively. We just struggle all the time. You know, so that's what I got. So, yeah. yeah. So, with the end of the season, what are your plans for the fall and the winter here? Well, I've got some good friends um, yeah. uh, in, that just flew in tonight. To, they wanted to see one game, and uh, so we're going to be on Broadway the next couple nights. And my son is a professor at Dartmouth. I'm going there this weekend after I take them to the airport at the end of the week, and then I'll come back and see a couple more Broadway plays and head home probably a week from Wednesday. And then it'll be nothing but golf, you know, when I get home. You know, it'll be golf and, and hopefully playing in a lot of tournaments. And, um, you know, as I told Stu today, there, yeah, there's a, uh, there's a, you know, I think there's, there's, a, there's a good chance, there's a good chance that I'll probably come back one, one, one more time. But, but I, I would, if I do come back next year, that would definitely be it. I mean, regardless of, because there's too many other things that, that I want to do. Um, I want to go. I want to go to the Masters. I want to go to the Kentucky Derby. Uh, I want to spend more time in Europe. Things that only occur during the baseball season, you know. And that's what's made it. You know, I'm glad I've done this two years. You know, coming back out of retirement, and um, you know, so there's a, you know, there's. I'd say it's at least 50-50, maybe one, more, but one, but next year would that would be it. So I can start crossing off some more things on my bucket list. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You know, and if that ha if, if if I come back next year, let, let's hope that we get the equal pitching but a better offense. So. Right.